Understanding Liturgical Revision, a guide. Hello and welcome to our language learning journey. Today, we're going to explore an intriguing phrase, liturgical revision. This might sound complex, but don't worry. We'll break it down together, making it easy to understand and remember. Whether you're deepening your English knowledge or just curious, this video is for you. Liturgical revision consists of two important words, liturgical and revision. Let's tackle them one by one. Liturgical comes from liturgy, which refers to the form of public worship or rituals, especially in Christianity. It's about the order and form of the worship services, including prayers, music, and readings. Revision means reviewing, altering, or amending something that already exists. It involves making changes to improve or to update the content or structure. Putting them together, liturgical revision, refers to the process of making changes or updates to the forms and practices of public worship. Liturgical revision is significant for several reasons. Adaptation to modern contexts. It helps the church stay relevant in modern times ensuring that the language and practices resonate with contemporary worshipers. Inclusivity and diversity. Revising liturgy can make worship more inclusive, reflecting the diversity of the community. Theological updates. It allows for theological developments to be incorporated into worship, helping believers connect more deeply with their faith. To illustrate, here are a few examples of how liturgical revision can manifest. Language updates, updating the language used in prayers and hymns to be more understandable and relevant to today's worshipers. Incorporating new music and art, introducing contemporary music styles or visual arts into worship services. Ritual adjustments, modifying or introducing new rituals to reflect current theological insights or societal values. We hope this exploration of liturgical revision has been enlightening. This process is not just about changing traditions for the sake of change. It's about making worship more meaningful, inclusive, and reflective of our evolving understanding of faith and community. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to exploring more fascinating topics together.